Hello and welcome to whiskey.com where fine spirits meet. And today I have the Four Roses single barrel on my cask. And yeah, Four Roses is a very interesting distillery. First of all, it's um, for nowadays it's a relatively small distillery. It, it's not as big as let's say a, a Beam or a Buffalo Trace or something like that. It's a smaller distillery. But uh, it used to be really, really big. During the Prohibition, most of the distilleries had to close, but not for roses. Uh, they were allowed to be open and they were allowed to produce medicinal alcohol or medicinal bourbon. So they stayed in business. And after the Prohibition ended, um, the Four Roses distillery was up, they could produce and they produced massively and they even rose to the top and they were the top selling bourbon within the United States. So they used to be really, really big. Nowadays they're a bit smaller, they go more into premium, they take really great care of what they produce. And just to give you a, a, an, yeah, an imagination of that, they have two different mash bills and five different strains of yeast they keep pure. And you can mix the yeast with the mash bills. So you get 10 different recipes for the beer. So you get 10 different ingredients for distilling the whiskey and filling into the barrel. And that means you have a lot of choice, a lot of variation. And uh, that is kind of unique. And that makes the Four Roses yeah, very special. And yeah, there is a story about the Four Roses. Let me show you the bottle. The bottle is very nice here. It has an ornament on the bottle. And here you see the Four Roses in red printed on the bottle. And yeah, the Four Roses, the, the brand owner, Paul Jones Jr. was sending his uh, marriage proposal to his loved one and yeah, by mail, <laughs> not very romantic from nowadays standards, but she said yes. And um, on the envelope, there were four roses and he took that sign and used it for the distillery. And that's why the distillery is called the Four Roses Distillery. Yeah, so I think enough said, it's a Kentucky straight bourbon. <coughs> So it straight means it only comes from uh, the Four Roses distillery. Uh, Kentucky means it comes from Kentucky. And Burm means it's 50% corn and some other distillation requirements and stuff. Um, so it's a, it's a corn heavy American whiskey, like most of them are. Mm. Mm -hmm. So it's a, a fruity sweet one but also when you smell a little deeper into it you get a lot of spices in there as well so it's a mixture between that um, a very sweet very very red apple like you know from fairy tales and that combined with um, uh, a spiciness that you know from a a bakery or even a bit a little bit of a these Christmas spices the the cloves and and all that kind of stuff mm. can't really pick that out what um, the single ingredients smell like but it goes very much into that direction mm. Mm. Oh. Very, very intense whiskey. A very intense whiskey. It has a good amount of sweetness, a good amount of fruitiness, although it's very, very ripe fruitiness, even maybe a little bit overripe fruitiness, and a lot of spiciness from the oak, and a lot of oakiness. So this one is really packed full with flavors a really a spicy kentucky straight bourbon but it's not as spicy as you would uh maybe mix it up with a rye whiskey but it's still kentucky straight bourbon with a good amount of spiciness mm. 
Mm. Be careful. This is the Four Roses single barrel. So that means all the whiskey comes from one barrel. But um, as this is demanded very, very much around the world, not one single barrel is for everybody. So they have a lot of single barrels that they put in yeah, batches into uh, bottles. And that means they don't level out the flavors. Means you can have different flavors. They might vary a little bit. They aim for the same flavor every time and they, they are pretty good at what they do. So they do know when the casks are ready, when they have hit the flavor profile. But as they don't have a blending together pro uh, process of m more barrels into one vat, they can't level out the flavors. And so the ver flavors vary between the different batches and so the little bottles that you buy in the store. Mm -hmm. But that's the beauty of a single barrel. They have a, a kind of a character, but every time you get a little bit different, a little bit nuanced, you get a little something new that might uh, might be attractive to you. Yeah, so that was it. Thank you very much for watching and see you next time.